All right, I'm here with the one, the only, Infinite G, your WWG champion. Of course, follow him on Instagram under Infinite G0905. What's up, G? What's up? How you doing? Good. Oh, and I am a King Geo now. Oh, he's a king now. You've always been the king. So, uh, good morning. I guess good afternoon, your royal highness. I really wanted to start doing little podcasts with you. We'll do like a 10, 15 minute video on a certain subject and we'll just talk about it. So I, I really want to start adding those videos onto your Infinite G YouTube channel. It doesn't necessarily have to be in the episodes that we make, but we can have little clips of us talking about everyday life. Oh, yeah. Cool? Yeah. One of the things that I really wanted to talk about, because I feel like this is going to be a show for kids, and I do believe in my heart that one day a lot of kids will be watching this, and I think that we can use this platform to really help teach kids about everyday life and how to get through life easy because life is a very hard challenge at times and a lot of us sometimes struggle but it doesn't always have to be that way and I think that if we teach children at a very young age certain tools to get through life I believe that they can get through life very easily and that life should be that they can live their life the way that it should be which is fun life should be fun it doesn't really have to be this hard all the time. So I say all of that to say that we are starting these little podcast talks. I'm excited about it. The very first subject that I want to discuss with you is confidence and what it means to have confidence, what it means to not have confidence, what the word confidence even means. Do you know what the word confidence means? Um, no. Excuse me. So when we're looking at the definition of the word confidence, there's three, but the one we're going to use right now, it says a feeling of self-assurance arising from one's appreciation of one's own abilities or qualities. So it's just basically believing in your abilities and your qualities, like believing in yourself, being confident in yourself, right? Believe, believing in yourself, believing that you have the abilities to do whatever you want to do. Right. For me, in my life and my journey, confidence is something that I really have lacked. Do you know what it means to lack? Um, no. When you lack something, it means that you don't have enough of, right? So I lack confidence, and it's something that I've really been working on a lot is gaining my confidence back because it's really hard to navigate through life when you don't have confidence. And for me, I, that's something that I've struggled with personally is my confidence. And I wasn't confident. I wasn't confident at all in myself. I didn't believe in myself. And I really feel like sometimes our children fall into the same patterns that we fell into. You know what I mean? I don't want you to fall into that pattern of not being confident. I want to instill confidence in you at a very early age and even talk about what confidence is. Nobody ever talked to me about confidence. um, And I just really feel like I didn't have a lot of it, especially as I got older. And I know that sounds crazy, right? Yeah. Um, But it's something that I really lacked. And it's something that I'm really working on, going inside, doing the inner work to rebuild my confidence and to feel confident and to believe in myself again. So I've come a long way because I am a lot more confident than I used to be. Even coaching your soccer team, I I feel more confident. Yeah. 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 You can tell that my confidence... Oh, yeah. Is getting stronger. I believe in myself more. I, I I coach you 
just more confidence. I have a confidence about myself. I can tell that you um, just say a lot more stuff in soccer and tell more people what to do and yeah, like how you usually do. Yeah, I, I just feel more confident in my coaching abilities. I just feel more confident in myself as a human being. I feel that it's very important for us as parents to instill confidence in our children. So I don't really feel like I had confidence instilled in me as a child. And I felt like that affected me as an adult. And I'm just, I'm 40 years old. I'm just now at a place where I'm starting to feel confident in myself. And it feels good, but it's taken me 40 years to get here. And I understand that that was part of my journey and that I had to go through that. So I get that, but it's not something that I want you to have to struggle with. I don't want you to struggle with your confidence. And I feel like it's my job to make sure that you're confident at a young age. So that's what I want to talk about today is just letting you know how proud I am of you because you're really a good kid. I mean, I, I couldn't have asked for a better son. Um, Thank you. It's true. I, I'll wake up in the morning and I'll come in here and you'll be reading a book or I'll get out of the restroom and the bed will be made. You're just a good boy and I really appreciate you in my life and I love you and I just I have to let you know how proud I am of you. I really am very very proud. Thank you. That's from the heart. So I want to just remind you how proud I am of you and how special you are because I really feel like that instills confidence in you and that if you know how special and important you are at this young of an age that it'll carry on into um, into your adult life and when you're my age you're going to be so confident that not there's not going to be anything that can bring you down and you'll be able to achieve anything that you want because you have the confidence to do so does that make sense to you? Yeah. Makes sense. I want you to be confident. I want you to be confident when you play soccer. And I do have to say that I've noticed your confidence go up a lot just in soccer. I feel like you've gotten very confident. Your your skill level is you you've really been working hard at being a better soccer player and it shows. But I think that part of the reason that you're better and improving is because you are more confident in yourself. Right. Yeah. And that's important. And I don't ever want to see you lose your confidence. I want to see you get more and more confident as time goes by. So I believe that it's my job to... You okay? Yeah. You got a boogie? No, yeah. I got a sneeze. Uh, okay, bless you. I feel that it's my job as your father, as somebody who loves you, as somebody who cares about you. It's my job to build that confidence for you. I feel like it's the parent's job to give our children positive affirmations, to speak positive words, because we talk about the law of attraction, right? It works both ways. I and 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 like I say, the, our thoughts and our words create our reality, but the thoughts and the words that we speak to other people also affect the reality. Right. So it's my job to speak positive words of encouragement to you and to tell you that I love you and to tell you how sp special you are and you are special. And you have to know that about yourself anyways, but I just have to almost remind you, but you should know how special and important you are anyways. And whether or not I tell you, you should know that about yourself because you really are. You are here for a very specific reason. You are here to help change the world. And I know that about you. And you're just a very special soul. Thank you. You truly are. And... I just love you and I'm just proud of the young man that you're turning into. I really, really am. Thank you. Also, so, I can tell that or, um, when I play goalie and soccer, I can tell that I'm being more like confident and not afraid of the ball. It showed yesterday when 
we warm up and the team is taking shots on you, I can feel your confidence. I can feel your confidence growing. I really can. And it, I feel like um, you're inspiring me to be more confident as well. It's funny because most parents think that they know everything and, and they ha- that they have all the answers and that children, you know, you know, that children need to learn everything from the parent. But I don't necessarily agree with that. For me, I don't know everything. I'm learning as I go. I, I'm learning as life goes by. I'm learning how to handle life and, and how to navigate through it and how to live my best life. But I don't have all the answers. And I look... To, I, I, I look to other people sometimes for guidance and for them to mentor me, to guide me, to teach me. And one of my greatest teachers that I've had in my life has been you. So I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. And you have been one of my greatest mentors, mentors one of my greatest teachers in my life so far. So I got to thank you for that. You're welcome. I really feel that parents can learn from their children and that children are some of the greatest teachers because children are so pure and innocent and come from such a pure and beautiful and loving place. And I just really feel like um, children are some of the best mentors and teachers and you have taught me so much about myself that I did not even realize about myself. And you've shown me things and you've shown me ways to improve my, my own life without probably even realizing it. So well, yeah, it's true. You've impacted my life in a very positive way. And I want to do the same for you. And I think that it's, it goes both ways and that we do that for each other. We have each other's backs, but you've certainly had my back. You've certain, you've certainly taught me a lot. Hey, cats are fighting. Hey, You've certainly taught me a lot about myself. You've taught you've taught me <laughs> you have taught me how to be confident. You've taught me how to be confident. And I'm learning confidence by watching you and by watching you play soccer and by watching you evolve into becoming a a little man and and you've just taught me a lot and I appreciate that. And I think that um I don't think I would be at this level of confidence without you in my life and without watching you and learning from you. So I just want to let you know that I'm proud of you. I want you to continue to build your confidence. It's important. Um, Confidence is really everything in life. When you're confident in life, you can get through it and navigate through it so much easier than not being confident because it was really hard for me to get through life being this unconfident up until now, now I've, I'm stepping into my confidence and I believe in myself and I believe that I can do anything that I put my mind to, but I don't feel like I get to that point without you and without watching you and learning from you. So I got to thank you for that. And, um, it's just, I feel it's just important as parents to realize that we don't always have all of the answers and that sometimes children can be our greatest mentors and teachers and that if we took the time to really listen to them we could learn so much and we can really apply that to our own life and change it for the better so confidence was what I really wanted to talk about because first of all I want you to be conscious of what it even is I want you to know what confidence is that way you can Realize what confidence is and then continue to attract confidence to you. And by the time you're in high school, by the time you're a young adult, you're going to be so confident in yourself that nothing can phase you just because you're so confident and you believe in yourself so much. So I believe in you. I believe in you and I believe that you can do anything that you want. But what matters more than Anything else is whether or not you believe in yourself because you are the only person that can create the life that you want to live for yourself and you are the only one that can manifest your dreams. The only way to do that though is to believe in yourself and everybody else can believe in you but 
unless you believe in yourself, that that's the only way that you're going to be able to accomplish your dreams is believing that you can do so, having the confidence in yourself to know that you can do anything that you put your mind to. So I just kind of want to talk about that. And I want to tell you how proud I am of you. And I want to tell you that I notice your confidence is growing. And that's a really beautiful thing. And I want it to continue to grow and grow and grow and encourage you um, and just support you and have your back the entire way, no matter what you want to do in life. If you want, you can tell me you want to be, you told me you want to work at Sprouts as a cashier. If that's what you want to do, I support that. If you want to play soccer professionally, I support that. If you want to be a wrestler, I support that. I support your dreams. I support your dreams and I encourage it. You told me you wanted to be a, ga- a professional gamer. I started your Infinite G channel, you know, to support you. I support your dreams. I, I just feel like when your parent supports you, it helps build your confidence, right? Right. Well, I, I, not exactly Sprouts. Well, Sprouts, but just a cashier for any store, maybe like Target or something else. I think that that would be a great first job for you. I just think that you are capable of so much more. But whatever it is that you decide that that's what you want to be in life, I support. I really do. As long as your intentions are good and it comes from a place of, as long as it comes from a place of love and, 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 you know, then I support you 100% no matter what it is. So just know that I have your back. I have your back. I support you. I support your dreams no matter what they are. You can change your mind a million times and they'll support it as long as you're happy. Because ultimately, I just want you to be happy and I want you to be confident. And I know that um, it's my job to to instill that confidence in you and to teach you about what confidence even is. You're only nine, you know what I mean? And you're already confident right. that you're, you're so many steps ahead of where I was at your age. And I'm, I'm glad I'm glad I, 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 I don't want you to have to live the life that I lived being unconfident and not believing in yourself. I don't want that for you. Um, cause it wasn't a very fun place to be in. And it was really hard to get through life. So I'm finally confident. And, you know, I'm probably a little less than halfway through my life. So it took me almost half of my life to be this confident in myself. But I feel like for you, you're just getting started. And if I continue to encourage you, and build your confidence by the time you get to my age in life. Nothing can, can stop you from achieving what you want to achieve. So it's important to have these conversations with each other. Not everyone will understand. Some children might not understand. But I do feel like these are conversations that we should have with children. Because children are very smart. Children are smarter than we give them credit for. They really get it. Um, And I just think that these are the conversations that we should have with children. Children have always played a very special, or excuse me, children have always had a very special place in my heart. Always. I just, I've always loved children and the innocence of a child and I appreciate children. So I really feel like it's my calling and it's what I, that working with children and teaching children will, will be something that I do more of in my life. But it really starts with my own child and teaching you how to believe in yourself and teaching you confidence and teaching you the law of attraction and you attract what you think and what you speak and, you know, teaching you about positive and negative vibes and all that stuff. It might seem like a lot to teach a nine-year-old, but I really feel like you understand it. I really feel like... You manifested Yokozuna and Sting, and you wrote down a list of your manifestation. You're, you you had a manifestation list, and you lo- wrote a thing, a list of things you want to manifest into your life, and you manifested that into your life within a few, uh, maybe a month later. You manifested those two figures into your life. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't seem like much, but it 
it is a big deal because he had the thought, he wrote it on his list, what he wanted to attract into his life. And then he attracted that into his life and he manifested that into his life. And I just feel like even if little lessons like that, you can apply that to bigger things. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And I just feel like telling you these, I, I wish that I had somebody to tell me these things at your age because my life would be so different right now, but it wasn't my journey. You know, I had to go through the hardships of life to get to this very moment, which I'm grateful for. But for you, it's going to be different and you're going to be able to get through life a lot easier. You won't have to suffer like I did. You won't have to to be hard on yourself like I was and, and to not like yourself like I did. You don't have to go through that. I had to go through it because that was my journey and the only way that I can teach people is to go through the suffering part first. The only way that I could be a healer is to suffer first and be able to heal myself first. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I had to go through all, all of that to get to this point, but well, you, we're here now. We are you are not you and I are here now in this very moment and I am exactly where I need to be. So I had to go through all of those things to get to this very moment in life. And if I had to do all of those things over again and go through all of that heartache and suffering in order to be here with my best friend right now talking about this, I would do it a million times over. So I'm grateful for the challenges that I've had in life. It's got me to this point, And now it's my job to teach you how to get through life without having to face those challenges in the first place. And it starts with confidence. So I just want to tell you that I'm proud of you. I see you. I see the work that you're putting in for yourself to make your life better. I see your confidence growing. And it's it makes me so proud. It makes me so proud. And um, it inspires me to to become more confident myself. So I just want to thank you and tell you that I love you and I'm proud of you and you. you are literally my inspiration to become a better person, not just for you, but for myself as well because this benefits my life as well. So I love you and I appreciate you in my life and I appreciate you as my mentor because you are my mentor as well. I think that we could be each other's mentors and that we can teach each other and learn from each other and live our best life. I really believe that about us. And I think that we make a very good team. I think that we're magic together and that we really are going to help change the world. And I really believe in my heart that we're going to touch a lot of people's hearts and get them thinking about their own life and how they can manifest a better life for themselves. That's that's our job here on earth. That's what we signed up for. Believe it or not, we are here to help people. So, but in order to help people, we have to help ourselves first. And in order to help yourself, you have to be confident in yourself. And that's all that I really wanted to talk about today was just confidence. It's important to be confident. And um we talk about the law of attraction, and when you speak words, you attract those words to your avatar. So I just want to say, I am confident. I am confident. I am confident. I know you are. But I am confident. I am confident. And the more that we continue to speak that out, the more confidence we attract to us, and the more confident we become in life. Yeah? I am proud of you. You're my best friend. And I just love you with every ounce of my heart. So that's all I want to talk about. And um, I'm looking forward to having more of these discussions. I have a vision of sitting down at the table, having multiple camera angles, using uh, Switcher Studio, having we can both have mics so the, you know we don't have to pass the mic back and forth and stuff. But I feel like we should be having these conversations more and putting these conversations on our YouTube channel more. What do you think about that? I think that's a good idea. Yeah. I think that we, um, we can share a lot of valuable knowledge with people. I really believe that. So this is going to be part of it. Um, I love our Infinite G channel. I love that we play with wrestling figures and play WWE 2K22 and 
and show us having fun together. But I also want to incorporate these life lessons into our channel because I really, yes, these, these bits of knowledge into our challenge, or excuse me, these bits of knowledge into our channel is going to, um, it's really going to turn into something very special. It already is special, but with when we add these conversations, a father and a son speaking the way that we speak, and um, you don't see it too often. It's almost like, I really know that you're an old soul, and sometimes I forget that you're only nine. It's weird, but sometimes I have to remind myself, he's only nine. But it just, I don't really feel like too many parents have these conversations with each other, you know, with their kids. So I feel like it's important and I want to set the tone. I want to, I want to make a new trend of parents having these conversations, these type of conversations with their children. It's important. And also to remind parents to keep an open mind and to listen to your children because our children can be our greatest mentor. Mine has been something to keep in mind. So with that being said, it's hot. Um, we got a, we got about an hour left before I got to take you to mom. So we'll probably play some 2K22 so I can get my WWE championship back that I lost last you night. You the winged eagle. Yeah, but I need my WWE championship back too. I need to have... He has four belts. I need, I'm Joey four belts. I need to be Joey five belts. It is what it is. No, he has five, he has five belts because of the million dollar championship. Oh, that's right. I did win the million dollar championship last night. Joey six belts. So we're gonna play five. some uh, five. Oh, excuse me. Well, it's gonna be six mm. after I win your championship. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna play before I take G to his mom. We have uh, a. Also, I think I wrote um to be a better soccer player on that two twenty two twenty two, and I am because one guy tried to. Uh, score a goal on me yesterday in the scrimmage, and I caught it. His soccer skills are improving every single time he plays, and that's something that I'm very proud of. Um, I'm more proud of the work that he's been putting in to attain his goals, and that's been very inspiring for me too. So just remember, kids, and even not even kids, everyone, adults too, you can accomplish anything that you want when you put your mind to it and when you put the work in you can do whatever you want to do and he this my man right here is a prime example because the soccer player that he is now compared to what he was last season is he's really improved and it's because he's putting in the work and he's he has the confidence and he believes in himself so it just goes to show how important confidence it truly is and we've been talking for about a half hour. This video went longer than I thought it was going to, but I'm grateful for it. And um, I, I just, I love this conversation and um, I love you and I want to have more of these. So cheers to to our little podcast, our father. We had to come up with the name, um, like, you know. Infinite Podcast. Infinite Talk or Father talk. father Son Talk. We'll, we'll, we'll come up with a name. Uh, G G and J talk. We'll figure something out cute, but I love this talk, and um, I just think these talks are very important. So you're about to be Joey Four Belts when I win that <laughs> million dollar championship. I'm willing to put my championship on the line right now. So we're gonna go play, but we just want to say that we love you. We appreciate the support from all of you because we. I do get a lot of support. I do get a lot of friends that reach out that say. I really love your channel. I really love the na the dynamic between you two. The support goes a long way. Support really does go a long way. It, it, and the encouragement. And it, when you're supported and you're encouraged, it makes you want to continue what you're doing. So thank you to everyone who supports us. We love you from the bottom of our heart. And for now, Infinite G and Dad saying one love, peace, and equality to everybody always. This is the true sign of oneness. And never forget how important and special you are and to believe in yourself. We love you. Infinite G. <laughs> he likes pressing that button. Infinite G and Dad signing out.